The outcome of a U.S. Supreme Court case will soon determine the future of abortions in Louisiana. Today, the legal group representing one side of the argument holds a webinar discussing potential outcomes in the case. NBC 6's Zyneria Bird joins us now live from Hope Medical Group sharing more. Zy? Jackie, today the Center for Reproductive Rights, who represents Hope Medical Group in the Supreme Court case, actually gave some possible outcomes of when the Supreme Court returns that ruling. It's a ruling that's deemed to come down in the next month. Oral arguments in the case of June Medical Group versus Russo were presented to the United States Supreme Court March 4th. In this challenge to an admitting privileges requirement in Louisiana, and this case is the issue at this case, at the center of this case, is one that we already won four years ago in the Supreme Court in Whole Woman's Health versus Hellerstadt. According to Northup, four different scenarios could unfold when SCOTUS makes its ruling. The first, the court could strike down Louisiana's admitting privileges law. We would consider a complete win, uh, a double win is another way of thinking about it because it would be a win both for access to abortion and it would be a win for the legal right to abortion. Leaving current access to abortion preserved. Having access for people who need it, it would also make clear that the legal right to abortion remains strong. The second possible outcome, the court strikes down Louisiana admitting privileges law but alters the legal standard. One where access is preserved in Louisiana, so the court still strikes down the Louisiana law, recognizes that it really can't make any distinctions between the Louisiana law and the Texas law four years ago, and so the law is unconstitutional. The third, the court possibly upholding Louisiana admitting privileges law. And the consequence of that would be devastating for access in Louisiana. At the outset, there are only three clinics left in the state, and the trial court in our case found that the effect of the law would be to shutter all of them but one. The fourth, the court potentially siding with the state. Rather, rule on the issue of third party standing, the question of whether our plaintiffs even belong in court and can raise the rights of their patients. But there is a possibility the law could be blocked, leaving the door open for one more potential outcome. The law is blocked. That means that the current level of access in the state will continue. So the three clinics that are providing care right now will be able to continue offering those services. And Louisiana's admitting privileges law was passed by the legislator back in 2014, so the Supreme Court decision will end six years of legal wrangling. Back to you. All right. Can't wait to see what happens here. Thank you very much, Simon.